Hi, I'm Tricia, an organic gardener. I grow organically for a healthy and safe food supply, for a clean and sustainable environment, for an enjoyable and rewarding experience. Most people don't have time to make their own bread, but with this Breville Custom Loaf, it makes it simple. Today we're going to be making sprouted wheat bread. Sprouted wheat bread is nutritious and has a lower glycemic index than even whole wheat bread. The recipe I'm using calls for one and a quarter cups warm water, two tablespoons active dry yeast, one quarter cup olive oil, one quarter cup honey, one and a half teaspoons of salt, and one cup of sprouted grains, along with two cups of sprouted wheat flour and two cups of organic bread flour. You can buy sprouted wheat flour or you can make your own. To make your own, start with one and a third cups of wheat berries. One cup of wheat berries will yield one and a half cups of flour. For my recipe, I need two cups of sprouted wheat flour. Rinse the seeds a couple of times, skim off any floating debris you see, and then fill the bowl and let it set overnight. In the morning, you'll see some bubbles on top. That means the wheat is beginning to sprout. The wheat should have little tiny sprouts. This is minimally sprouted wheat. Rinse your minimally sprouted wheat thoroughly. Next, we're going to dehydrate the wheat. Spread your wheat on a dehydrating tray up to about an inch thick. Dehydrate at 100 to 110 degrees Fahrenheit until the wheat berries are dry. While the sprouts are dehydrating, I'm going to start another batch of sprouts, since my recipe calls for fresh sprouts as well. Blend one cup of your wet sprouted wheat along with one and a quarter cups of warm water. Blend until you get a fairly smooth puree. Once your grain is dry, you want to mill it. Make sure it is milled finely. If it is too coarse, you could damage the pan of your bread maker. Remove the bread pan from your Breville bread maker and install the paddle in the upright position. Put the ingredients in the bread pan in this order. First your water sprouted grain puree, a quarter cup of honey, a quarter cup of olive oil, two cups of sprouted wheat flour, one and a half teaspoon of salt, and then your active dry yeast. Now just put the bread pan back in the bread maker and make sure that it's properly seated on the shaft. I'll be using the whole wheat bread setting for a 2.5 pound loaf on the bread maker. This has a preheat option that allows the sprouted wheat flour to fully absorb the liquid. Hit start and wait until the first knead cycle for the last step. This bread maker has a special holder so that you can add nuts or other mix-ins automatically to your bread. Once the bread maker starts kneading, just add the two cups of bread flour. Once you've added the bread flour, your bread maker will do the rest. It beeps when it's finished and it switches to a keep warm setting. It smells so good. Let's try some. Wholesome whole wheat bread. You can do it and you can grow organic for life.